Okay, hello, good afternoon, Form 9. I um, hope you're well. If you have not watched uh, Mr. Balfour's um, Components of Fitness or Principles of Training videos, and you need to stop this one and go and watch those two now. Um, the Principles of Training video was on the 7th of May, and the Components of Fitness video was on the 21st of May. Okay, so you should be able to find them on the act under activities. Um, if you can't, under activities and sports science, if you can't find them, let me know. Uh, drop me a message on the portal and I will send them to you so you've got them because you really need to understand your components of fitness and principles of training before we start to attempt creating or designing our training program. Okay, so first things first, where are we? Um, our task over the next two weeks is going to be to create a six week training program. Okay, there's two examples at the bottom, those, those sorts of pictures, and that's what our training program will look more like the one on the right. It'll be seven days, six weeks, um, and we're going to do it in two, three week blocks. Okay, so from this lesson, I'm going to set you off to do a couple of other little tasks that's going to help inform your first three weeks of your training program. So the first task you're going to, need to do, we'll do it in a minute, is to create an athlete. And then after that, we're going to um, set in their aims and put in what targets that they want to actually achieve. And before you do that, you need to think firstly, how am I going to get them to achieve that target? Okay, so here is my athlete. I've just created him out of thin air. You could use someone you know, someone else in the group. Uh, use me if you like. Um, is my athlete is called Matt. Uh, he's male. He's 16 years old. He's a rugby player. Um, he's a winger. So already I'm start, start starting to think about the attributes of a winger. They're fast. They're agile. They're powerful. Um, and his experience level is his club level. Okay. So he's not an elite Olympic athlete or premiership uh, international athlete. He's just a club level rugby player, 16 years old. Okay. So what you will need to do, you can stop and do it now following this uh, sort of template, or you can do it after lesson is to create your own athlete. Okay, please make it as specific as possible following that little guide. Once you've done that, we need to create some smart targets for them as some aims. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, next year when it comes to your coursework, uh, you'll have created your athlete, you can use the same one or choose a different one. And we're going to do a load of fitness tests on them. So we're going to test their speed, their power, their agility, their strength, uh, their balance, coordination, cardiovascular endurance, you name it, we're going to test it. Okay. And then you're going to compare the scores they got, say in, on the Illinois agility test. And you're going to compare my, my friend Matt's score to the normative data for his age group. So for 16 year old males, and I can see whether he is good, average, poor, um, is, he, is he sort of the normal scale? Is he above it, below it? And if he is below it, I can say, right, that's going to be one of his targets. So his target for after the training program is going to be to have improved his agility. So throughout the program, I'm going to put in different training stuff that he can do to improve his agility. And that's the way I'm going to measure it. So when we're talking about smart targets, they need to be specific. So again, specific to rugby, to the week, to his winger position, um, they need to be measurable. So that's that's through our fitness testing and com uh, comparison to the normative data. They need to be achievable. So I'm not going to give him something that, you know, that would be the elite athlete level. He's a club level athlete. So that's what we're working with. Um, they need to be realistic. So very similar age experience. Um, and they need to be time bound. So we're looking at the six week block. So something that I can help him improve in six weeks. So the first two tasks, you need to create an athlete and then you need to give them three smart targets. So again, you can pause it and do that now, or you can do it after the, the whole video. Okay, so your task from this lesson is going to be to create the first three weeks of our six week training block, okay? I'll show you a template of what that will look like a bit later, but before we start to design it, there's a few things we need to think about. And the first one is the principles of training. So if you haven't watched Mr. Balfour's video on the principles of training, please go and do that now. Um, all, along with this, we need to look at our warm up and our cool down. Okay, so these are our three main points for creating our program. So principles of training, specificity, progressive overload or progression, uh, reversibility, regression, moderation, variance, tedium. Okay, so specificity, obviously, making it all the activities we're doing specific. So I'm going to use my man as my example. I'm making everything specific to rugby to his position. So I'm not going to 
make him do a load of golf stuff because that would be not specific to him playing rugby. Likewise, progressive overload. I'm going to try and progress the training each week. This, that's probably one of the most important factors or most important principles that we're going to include. And we'll talk about the fitter principle in a minute. Um, regression or reversibility, the use it or lose it. So if he's not training, he's going to get unfit. That's basically what that means. So I'm just going to make sure that he sticks to it. Again, looking at that A in the adherence of fitter, I'm going to make sure that he sticks to his training program. How am I going to do that? I'm going to make sure it's not tedious. I'm going to make sure it's, it's um, engaging for him. So we've already covered the variance tedium at the bottom. And moderation, um, again, I'm looking at his circumstances. He's 16 years old. Um, he's a club level rugby player, so I'm not making him train five times a day. It's going to be realistic to what he can do. Okay, and then variance tedium, just trying to alter the training we're doing to make it as exciting um, and as engaging as possible for him. Now, I hope you, you should all do that as well when you're doing your training. Otherwise, it does become boring. I definitely find um, doing the same exercise over and over again boring. So make sure you change it up. Um, the other points to consider, as I said, the warm up and cool down. So these are the um, five. Uh, components of the warm-up so the pulse raiser um, the mobility exercises dynamic movement stretching and skill rehearsals so these should all be fairly specific as well so um, you know other than I guess pulse raiser you could tailor all of those other things to the sport so I could alter my mobility um, to my rugby player so I'm looking at him rolling his shoulders using his upper body you know making sure that he's going to be ready um, for the contact and the collision um, Again, dynamic movements, the sidestepping, the changing direction at speed, stretching. We're going to be stretching our total, our, our total body. Um, and we're looking at, in the warm up, I hope you know this, and we're going to be looking at dynamic stretches. There are lots of different other stretches that you could include as well. But for us, for now, we're just going to focus on dynamic stretching, okay? Uh, and then the skill rehearsal phase is going to be obviously something to related to what he's doing in the game. So running fast, changing direction, catching the ball, kicking potentially. Um, and you need to include a warm up on every single day of every single activity you do. There needs to be an element of a warm up. So you wouldn't just go out on a Monday morning and go straight into your sprints because A, you're probably going to pull a muscle, but B, um, you're not warm and you're not, you're not ready for the activity. Afterwards, uh, we need to be looking for our cool down. So our pulse lowering and stretching. So Nice long walk, small jog, um, and some static stretching after the activity. Um, so here's the fitter principle. So if we just dive into progressive overload for a little bit, um, this I don't, you can't see this, can you? Um, it's a, just a basic principle of trailing, which is about how you actually improve. And obviously, the whole point of us putting together this six-week training program is to improve our athletes' fitness and overall fitness, okay? Um, so frequency, how often we train. Um, we're going to be training at least once a day. Um, we'll, pro uh, we'll have a rest day and a match day. The intensity, so we're going to progress that every day. Um, the time, again, we're going to progress that every day. So it gets a little bit longer, a little bit harder every day. And the type of training we use, again, trying to avoid that tedium. Um, we're going we're gonna to change that up as often as we can within reason. Um, and the adherence, I'm going to make sure he's stimulated to keep to the training program. So I'm going to make sure he knows what he's trying to achieve through it and make it exciting and engaging so he wants to train. Okay, so watch, learn, attempt. So I've, I've put together six or seven, I think, videos from YouTube um, that, are, that hit the specific methods of training that I've written out here. And I've done some sports-specific training as well. So just some different uh, workouts and types of training methods that you can have a go at. I want you to watch them all. Um, some of them, like the top left aerobic endurance, that's just a short lesson um, on what uh, continuous training is, I think. Um, so I want you to watch the videos, go out and try them. I want you to watch the fartlet video, go out and try some fartlet training around where you live. Really easy stuff to do um, in terms of following the program. Quite hard in terms of the intensity, but I would like, I'd like you all to have had a go at at least two or three of these different workouts so you understand and you know what it feels like to start without having warmed up or how I'm feeling towards the end of my 20-minute workout Am I realistically then going to want to do an hour's run? Probably not, but you not sure. Maybe you're not sure how that feels at the moment. I'd really like you to go and try out some of these different types of training, especially if it's something you haven't done before. 
Um, okay. Ooh. So I keep moving my little face in the corner around. Resources. So we've been really kind and we've created these two resources for you, which basically give you example sessions, fitness components, fitness tests, the relevant sports they hit, um, the types of training that you can use. Um, so again, these will answer a lot of questions for you as you're going through trying to create your program. So before you email me and ask me a question, which I'm very happy for you to do, please make sure you've scanned over these um, documents. The one on the right that I've cropped down is a bit longer than that. Um, please have a look through these documents to see if it answers your question first. Okay, so this is what our... Um, training program template is going to look like okay so monday to sunday saturday i've given matt a match day he's going to play every saturday and on a sunday he's going to have a rest day he's going to have a nice sunday lunch and he's going to chill and relax and uh, and we'll talk about diet probably the third week into this three week block um and that's when his sort of main recovery will happen on that sunday i haven't put anything in because i didn't want to give too much away although there will be quite a lot of um resources coming to you um but this is basically what it's going to look like for us now all we're worried about is this first three weeks of training okay so what i would like you to do i'll i'll put this up as a editable document for you so you can open it and use the template you can create your own template or find another one if you if you think you've already got a good one. I'm very happy with that. Um, but this is just if you, in case people are going to say, no, I'm not sure how to set it out, you can use this one. Very simple, but it does work, okay? Um, I'd like the first three weeks of this training block to be completed by next Thursday when we start the second set or the second three weeks. Um, if you'd like it marked and given back to you, it needs to be to me by Monday close of play, so by Monday afternoon, okay? And I'll mark it Tuesday, Wednesday, and get it back to you for Thursday, so you can edit that, and you'll know if you made any mistakes or uh, sort of had any misconceptions, that you can change that for your second three weeks. Okay, so to do, you need to identify and create your athlete or performer. Please try and pick a skill or a sport that you are familiar with, okay? So I wouldn't, for instance, pick horse riding because i don't know anything about horse riding um if you know those about horse riding go for it that'd be a really fun one to do um make sure you're going to know how to train uh, what sort of uh, training they're going to need to do and how they can improve it okay it'd be really useful if you actually knew quite a bit about the sport first you then need to come up with three aims so both of these need to be really specific your athlete you need to know i need to know all about them um you can just put that underneath your training program maybe or you can put it in a Word document and send it to me, I don't mind. Um, then you need to come up with your three smart targets or three aims of what you want to improve. So again, I want you to imagine they've done the, uh, the fitness tests um, and you've noticed that they're a bit weaker in these three elements or two elements and one skill element, and then you're going to write them down as their target to improve, okay? The third point or third to do is to watch the YouTube videos that I've put out. Um, and attempt some of the training, okay? So attempt some of the workouts and give me your feedback. How did you find them? Um, and tell me what it makes you think about for your training program as well. So it might, it might be that, like I said, you go on that long distance run and you get back and you think, no, I can't now do a, a half an hour weights program because I'm really tired, my body's really sore. So obviously you wouldn't then put that into your, your training program. OK, um, and then the main task is to complete the first three weeks of your six week training program. If you have any questions or um, any issues, anything like that, watch Mr. Balfour's two videos. Watch my uh, on principles of training and components of fitness. Watch my video from last week on uh, methods of training, if you haven't already. And um, read the two resource sheets that I've given you, know, the colorful ones with the, um, sort of the Excel spreadsheets, read those. And I imagine most of the answers will be in there. But if they're not, give me uh, a message on via the portal. Um, and hopefully I can answer some of your questions. Also watching the YouTube videos will be really useful for you as well. Okay. I'm going to go and um, set all the other resources for you. It's going to be quite a few documents on the on the lesson today. So please make sure you've looked at all of them and save them. Start to get a sports science coursework folder together on your laptop or you can print them out. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.